A polite ripple, please, on the Good Morning Britain floor for the first lady of racing novels set on the Riviera. It's her 16th novel, uh, believe it or not. There's no underestimating the frame of this dame. It's Dame Joan Collins, ladies Yay! and gentlemen. Finally, I get to walk the red carpet, Dame yes. Joan. In DC <laughs> company. I love her. <laughs> yes, Your Sir Majesty. Richard. <laughs> Sir Richard, I'll take Sir Richard. I'm delighted, it's official. It's so lovely to see you. I know, and we... Snap. I have... I have Snap. dressed in tribute to you this Mwah. morning. Mwah. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Do I get kisses? Yes, you do. <laughs> Hi. This Hi. is Hi. hilarious. You are yeah. basically wearing the yes. same dress. I know. Yeah. I know. Isn't that amazing? The it same is it? print. Extraordinary. Oh, it is May Blossom, isn't it? Well, it's <laughs> appropriate because it's May. May, May the 4th. Oh, exactly. <laughs> so it, it, it's a bit of a frock off, but um, <laughs> nevertheless. <laughs> I think Joan wins. Good company. <laughs> yes. I can't believe it's your 16th book. I know. Well, it's it. Yes, the first one was my autobiography, if you want to talk about racy. Mm. Then... It was racy. <laughs> yeah. mm. And then I wrote um, autobiographies and I've written four beauty books and I've written, uh, this is my sixth novel. So I've been, um, I've been doing quite a lot and this one is, um, well, you liked it. You well, told I me I, all I about it. I read it in France at the weekend, funny it's enough. Terrific. It's saint tropez Lonely Hearts Club. Mm. It's quite a romp, quite a caper and I'm a hundred pages from the end, so no spoilers, please. Do you know what? The producer very kindly has printed out some of the lines of the book and, oh. put, and put them on a card for Can me to read. Can you actually read them or not? I can't read them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether the producer I'll, has I'll read, read them. them. Okay, read you them. read them. I'll read them. Okay. Okay, so Maximus introduced Carlotta and pointed at a roguish middle-aged American movie star and whispered, that's Dirk Romano. He loves dropping his pants and mooning the paparazzi while boating with his latest young fling. I love well, this. You know who that is. Who's that? Oh, come on. Go on, who's well, Dick Romano? Anyway, well, it's... I mean, I don't want Give to get serious. Jack. Jack Nicholson? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You this is why I love Joe Collins. You used to moon the paparazzi? Yes. Yeah, well, or was it Leo? I don't know. They Somebody. One of them did. One of them did. <laughs> Maybe only once, but I think I was there. Joan, if Because I, if, these things happen. Joan, you've, you, you yeah. have been... You've been courted by the world's most handsome legends right, well, in history. Some of them. If you could be trapped on a desert island with one of them for the rest of your life... One of them? It can't be oh, Percy, but Percy oh, will be. give permission. Oh, does he have to be living or dead? You no, know, it could be either. Oh, well, Paul Newman. Paul Newman. Of course. He was so much fun. Was he? Such oh. a nice, nice man. And he made the best hamburgers, and I'm sure that he would have been able to, you know, collect things on this desert island. He'd be useful. He'd have those eyes. Yes, he had those for eyes. He had a great sense of humour. And I was there when he started making his um, his salad uh, dressing mm. yes. yeah, which was to... huge made in millions right you know, this was in Connecticut I used to go there a lot because Joanna was mm. one of my best friends and he was too mm. so he would have been a, he was great and I did a movie with him and it was the best fun he was he, it was one of the really great guys of the mm. world one of the real gentlemen actors mm. of which there are not that many and he anymore. had the most enduring marriage in show business to Absolutely. Joanna Woodward. yes and I was, I was watching an interview with him too it was great and uh, and they asked him a su successful marriage you know sort of what, what was the secret and he went well she was impossible before I met her she's been impossible ever since and she'll always be impossible oh. and they both burst out <laughs> laughing and I loved it because it showed actually what it is it's probably humor right oh yes great great humor great love for each other they were wonderful with their children and I mean he had this he just wanted to be all Ordinary, mm. you know, he mm -hmm. hated the stardom thing. And about 30 years ago, before people were so incredibly uh, mad about getting autographs, mm. he uh, talked about when he was in the loo, in the with the one with the cubicle, mm. and sitting there, and somebody slid some <laughs> loo roll paper underneath and said, "Can I have your autograph, Mr. Newman?" Oh my goodness! <laughs> we but have stopped time. short of that with you today, then, yes. Joan, haven't we? I know the crew are desperate to, but we have stopped. Oh short really? Of that. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe not on toilet paper. Uh, no. We're going to talk.